our interview today too. We're gonna do this in two parts. Um, this is another personal assistant that helps other people also besides myself. Um, this is Rosemary. Um, how long have you been doing this personal care job? I've been doing this for 15 years. And why did you choose this position? I had a desire. I had a desire to help others that needed my help. Mm -hmm. I liked the home type of atmosphere where I could be of assistance. I thought that fulfilling. Mm -hmm. um, and that's sorry. Question two. Why do you dislike the job? Dislike about it because I love working with okay. all people. And I love being able to know that the work that I do is fulfilling for the person so they can live their life freely with okay, and independently. Um, whether it's bathing, whether it's making them look good, whether mm -hmm. you like to talk okay. about Do you feel you need, do you feel you need a special training for this job? I think you do. Okay. Even though even Could though you expand on that? <laughs> Yes, because I think that there are, are, is knowledge as far as leg bags go, different medical mm -hmm. um, ways how to, how to transport people or transfer people. Right. There needs to be knowledge. You just can't walk off the street and, mm -hmm. and say, I can help you. Do you feel like you get enough as it goes on, as you learn training? Yes, I, I have learned that as I've gone on, Mm -hmm. First, I knew nothing right. about how to help, and I have developed a wealth of knowledge in how to care for others. Does it help to know how to, how to help the person by asking or just doing it yourself? I never assume that I have all the answers because it's not my needs I'm taking care of, right. but the needs of that individual. Right. And I always ask questions, whether it's where to put something in the kitchen, mm -hmm. or how they feel, and right. what they need. Okay, great. Um, one more question. Do you feel faith is a big part of taking care of someone? Absolutely. God is the center of my heart, is the center of my life. Right. And the Word of God is. Right. The mm -hmm. Word of God is what strength, who strengthens me mm -hmm. in my day-to-day -day living. My prayer and my relationship with Him is so important. Right. To be able to have the compassion come forth out of me to love and help others, and have a sincere desire to meet the needs of other people. Great. Um, is there anything you feel that my audience should know at this time? Do you think there's not something we didn't cover that needs to be said? I think that, and I feel very strongly about when I go out into the public with those who are in wheelchairs. People need to realize that whether someone is able to walk or can't walk mm -hmm. doesn't, mean, doesn't mean that their mind is um, deficient. Mm -hmm. They're very intelligent people, just like us, and that can walk. And they need, those who are in wheelchairs need to be addressed to just as if it was someone as an able-bodied person. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, there's nothing deficient about their brains. They're very intelligent, beautiful people and should be treated as equals as able-bodied people in every respect. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness for asking me. Great. Thank you for the... Yeah. <laughs>